Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Well, I started to make a video that I wanted to share with you, but decided it had to go up on BitChute. I'm just going to read you the title. I got this from Tessa. And it says, um, in fact, I'll go ahead and do the recall she gave me while I'm with you. All right. Um, well, where did it go? Did I delete it already? Let's see. Oh, yeah. In um, SciTechDaily.com, it says there's a global spread of the highly pathogenic H5N5. N8, excuse me, H5N8, avian influenza virus, is a serious public health concern. Well, I, I got into reading it and then adding like I normally do, and I decided that had to go up on BitChute. And I invite you to go ahead and watch it. And I will put the link to it in the description box for those who are interested in what is coming next. Hopefully, and I pray, we are all found worthy to escape these things that are to come upon the earth and to stand before the Son of Man our Jesus as part of his bride. Won't that be exciting? Oh, I'm like, Jesus, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I want you to come and get me now. <laughs> Do any of you say that? I'm like, oh, Lord Jesus, I want you to come and get me now. <laughs> but until then... I will bring you what I can, what I feel he's telling me is important. I will let you go at that. And Oh, wait. No, no. See, I forgot to do this yesterday. I brought you something. And let me delete that now. Oh, here's... It's already ready. It's already up. And... Okay, th does this have a link? Yes, there's my link. Okay, so I can, I don't know why they send me two emails when they're ready. Okay. Let's see, where is it now? Okay, here it is. This is in Newsweek now. A lot of y'all better pay attention because you like pork. How many of you like meatballs? All right. It's in Newsweek online publication, and it's dated June 1st. How could it be dated June 1st? I thought I got this yesterday. Hmm. Okay, whatever. Maybe this, no, because I was in bed all day. I'll tell you what, I went, not all day, but. I went to this for one hour. I attended a Memorial Day weekend cookout, they called it. They didn't really get a grill and cook the hot dogs outside. But it's all right. Somebody cooked them in their room. And somebody bought buns and somebody made coleslaw and somebody else made potato salad. And I took... My friend told me about it the night before, and all I could do is grab up some, I had some pickles that were very good, and I shared those, and I had some pepper jack cheese, which I don't know if people put that on hot dogs or not, but I took that, and I took some of those little cans of soda that they bring us with lunch. I thought, they're going to think this is so lame, but it's all I had. You know, it's the end of the month, for heaven's sake, so... At least I was able to contribute one hour. And I was like, because I got up and walked, you know, along the line to get my food. And then I had to walk a good ways more to get the drink and then come all the way back. And then I walked to 
for something else and I don't remember it all but I know it just did me in and that's just I can sit here I can do my work for the Lord and I'm okay because this is like breathing to me when he tells me something to share and I share it and it's not hard but when I force myself to start putting out content that isn't uh, of him, I feel extremely wore down the next day. So, well, and it might not even be that. It might be just a side effect. And if I have to feel that way, you know, uh, like I told you before, if I have to feel that way for a day, and take a day of rest and then do another day and whatever I'll do whatever the best I can what I feel in my spirit needs to be shared let's go on okay so this was put out apparently it's dated today but it, it was in my email yesterday uh, I'm pretty sure anyway 20,000 pounds of meatballs Pork products recalled across 10 states. All right, now listen. It says the recall happened on the eve of Memorial Day weekend, which would have meant Thursday. That's what I would, or maybe Friday, maybe Friday afternoon. But it says, okay, by Scott McDonald. On 529, okay, the 31st was yesterday, the 30th would have been Sunday, 29th was Saturday at 6.55 p.m. All right, so apparently they consider the Memorial Day weekend to be Sunday and Monday, whatever. Now, there's a video you can watch if you go here with the link I'll put. A 40 second video. Let's just go ahead and listen. It shows hamburger coming out of a grinder. Let's see. The sound is not on. Virginia, as well as Indiana. Now, along with Let's Kroger, other over. brands like Private Selection, JBS, and Laura's Lean Beef could be contaminated Hold more than 35. More than 35,000 pounds of this beef is said to possibly be contaminated. The meat was shipped to different distribution centers in Virginia as well as Hold Indiana. Hold on, they're showing a whole steak being wrapped. Not just ground meat. Indiana. Now, along with Kroger, other brands like Private Selection, JBS, and Laura's Lean Beef could be contaminated with that hard plastic. All of them have a sell-by date of April 9th. Now, if you have any of those brands that I just mentioned, you're told to either... Okay, he's talking so fast. It said Kroger's Private Selection JBS. Never heard of it. And Laura's brand. Uh, any of those brands? Sell-by date of April 9th. 2018. Now, wait. I just mentioned your toe to. How can that be when it's Newsweek is reporting it? 52921. And this video, he's standing outside of what looks. I guess that's a Kroger's, although I got to tell you, it's built just like a Walmart. All right. Um, and either throw the meat away or what I just mentioned your possible plastic in the meat. OK, they showed a a solid piece of meat. Now, this sell-by date is April 9th, 2018. That's got me wondering, why is that video on this report? I... All right, I'm going to report on it. And if you think you have any of this, you can always... Um, contact Newsweek... Surely you ought to be able to, how would you contact them? 
the store you bought it from. There you go. And they would know. All right. Now this said, this is showing a picture of spaghetti and meatballs. All right. I am going to get rid of that guy and take a picture of the spaghetti and the meatballs. All right. Have that right there. All right. And it says, Meatballs prepared during the meatball shop master class hosted by Daniel Holzman at the Institute of Culinary Education in New York City. Photo by uh, somebody. According to the Food Safety and Inspection Division of the USDA, the fully cooked, not shelf-stable meat and poultry items were produced January 8th, January 15th, and March 3rd of this year. What? Okay. Uh, okay, let me continue because some of these dates are more recent. This is weird. These are the products getting recalled. 10 pound bulk packed cases containing 3.75 ounce rib shaped pork patties with barbecue sauce with a code a big old code used by 3 2 2022. Okay, so that is a wow for not shelf stable fixed way back then. The fully cooked, not shelf stable meat and poultry items were produced January 8th, January 15th, and March 3 this year okay so then they must be frozen but it doesn't say that all right this 10 pound bulk pack cases are rib shaped pork patties with barbecue sauce contains undeclared wheat which is not represented on the label the 15 pound bulk pack cases containing 3.0 ounce rib shaped pork patties with barbecue sauce uh, with there's a code used by 3-2-2022 that contain undeclared wheat alright I'll tell you what this is quite a long list and you can read this for yourself if you got any um what is the brand? I guess King's, did I read that? King's Command Food. K-C-F. Not K-F-C. K-C-F. All right. If you have any items, there sounds like bulk. Yeah, 10-pound bulk pack. 15-pound bulk pack. 15 pound bulk pack. It's different kind of pork patty, Swedish meatballs, Swedish meatballs, 14 pound bulk pack, Swedish meatballs, 10 pound bulk pack, chicken and beef meatballs, 10 pound bulk pack, meatballs, uh, 10 pound bulk pack cases with Homestyle meatballs, 20 pound bulk pack cases. This sounds like restaurants or schools would buy this. Okay, and that's Italian style meatballs. Each of the recalled products have the establishment number EST dot. M as in Mary, 1515A as in Adam, inside the USDA mark of inspection. Okay, I'm going to end it at that. So, if you have any of those kind of products, look into this.
and make sure you get your money back for them. It's a lot of meat. All right. God bless you all. I'll let you go with that, and I'll talk to you later.